and you need to get you need to get used to that pain. I, I think that sleeping with a woman, you learn more about them as a closer relationship. Can I really say if it's a good apple or a bad apple? It's the only apple I've ever tasted. It might be sour, it might be terrible, I don't know. All of us have that girl we had when, who was perfect when we were young, and we all ruined it because we're stupid. You can't be a coward about it. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. There's up and down, there's, there's rain and sunshine. We talk about thoughts you can't get out of your head. That's why they're all crying. That's why all the men in there were sobbing. Whore, slut, first insult out their mouth is she's promiscuous. So they know deep in their heart promiscuity you see is bad because they call each other promiscuous when they want to insult each other. Yeah. If you have any weakness inside of you or if you have any downfalls as a person, she'll teach you that. I look, I look frugal and frugality is a form of fear. Women just want to love and be loved and feel safe. However, I think in all scenarios and life experience is always going to be valuable. No matter what it is, you need to have experience. If you're inexperienced to anything, whether it's hunting, figure skating, girls, you need experience and experience is exceptionally important. Also as a man, especially when you're young, you're gonna get your heart broken a bunch of times. Some, some bigger, older, richer dude's gonna take that chick. And you need to get, you need to get used to that pain. So, so okay. you need to get through it. So I do think it's a necessary part of being a man, but you don't wanna be led by it. There has to become a point where you go, you know what, I'm versed enough. And also, another thing I would like to say is the reason you need to sleep with, not sleep with, but date lots of women when you're younger so you have choices. Which, def what, define the two. Yeah. Which is more important, date or sleep, in your eyes? I feel like you don't really, I, I think that sleeping with a woman, you learn more about them as a closer relationship. So I'd say probably sleep with X amount, not crazy amounts, but I would say that, okay, let me give an example. If I go to the supermarket and pick up an apple, and it's the only apple I've ever eaten, can I really say if it's a good apple or a bad apple? It's the only apple I've ever tasted. It might be sour, it might be terrible, I don't know. Whereas if I try 10 apples, I can tell the differences between apples. I say, what's a good apple, what's a bad apple? I think you need that degree of experience because sometimes you'll be with a woman and go, yeah, she's great, but if you're not experienced enough, you realize she really isn't all that great and she actually treats you like a dickhead. Whereas if you've been with enough women, you can always reference back to that girl who actually was really good to you. And, and you'll probably mess it up because you're young and you're dumb. We've all done it. All of us have that girl we had when, who was perfect when we were young and we all ruined it because we're stupid. When you have experience with lots of different apples, you know what a good one and a bad one is. So when we say we all had that girl we messed up when we were young, if I found another girl with those qualities, I certainly wouldn't mess it up. You, you just need, you need experience to understand what you have to value it. If you don't have experience, you don't value what you have. So the original question is a really good one of whether men are, are chained and enslaved by their desires or whether they need to sleep with lots of women. I think in the modern world, you need experience and you need choices and you need options. Mm -hmm. But if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. If you're gonna be the guy who's also out there in the club and sleeping with lots of girls, talking to lots of girls, there's gonna be times you lose a girl that you don't wanna lose. You can't be a coward about it. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. There's up and down, there's, there's rain and sunshine. You have to be that man who's gonna go through it all. And then when you've been through enough of it, yeah. like I have, like I said, if I find a beautiful girl now who's a 10 and deletes and doesn't want Instagram, that's worth more to me than a thousand stupid girls. Respect. Yeah, that's who I want. Yeah. If your woman wouldn't wait for you if you went to jail for five years, why are you with her? Why? If she wouldn't wait, I know she's hot, I know she's funny, I know she makes you laugh. But if you can't sit in that jail cell with 100% certainty that she's not out with her friends, them in her ear, talking shit, watching Sex in the City, whatever it is, and her ending up with some other guy, why are you even buying her dinner? For what, sex? Like that loyalty to me is the only thing left that's valuable. The women who love me are waiting for me. Imagine you go to jail and you're completely heads over heels in love with a woman, but you know deep in your heart that she's out in the club and she's, she's stealable. You talk about, we talk about thoughts you can't get out of your head in jail. It's amazing how when you lose all access to electronics, how thoughts are amplified. Most of us sitting here, you've never been without a phone or without a laptop or without a computer for, for 93 days. You'd be amazed how loud you can think. You'd be amazed how vivid your mind is. I learned that. If you had the nagging thought in your head, I loved her, she cheated on me before, maybe she cheated again, she hasn't written me in three days, da -da, and then plus jail. That's why they're all crying. That's why all the men in there were sobbing. Their wives are either fucking someone else or the bills ain't paid. It's not just his situation, it's everything else. Yeah. So now if you're gonna say to me, what do I respect in a woman? I respect a woman who's gonna wait for me. I have no interest in a woman, oh, she's funny, she's cool, she's hot, don't care. Don't care. Is she going to wait for me? And I also know, because of my experience, which ones would and which ones wouldn't. I'm not stupid. Because they'll all say they would. They'll all say they'll wait, because they're on the jet. But I know which ones are lying, because enough women have lied to me. I've seen it.
So you do need that experience, but once you have the experience, you start looking for completely other things. Women respect experience. In fact, I saw on a TV show, and this was like 10 years ago, and I have no idea what the show was, but it was a show about, it was on Channel 4 in the UK, and it was a show about sex, and da-da-da. 85% of virgin women would rather sleep with a man who'd already had sex than a virgin man. Wow. A virgin woman doesn't even want a man with the same level of experience. You're, you're respected for your level of sexual experience. And women are naturally demonized for their level of sexual experience. And even the ones in the West who pretend that's not true, the ones who are fully psyoped, wait till they see a girl they don't like. What's the first thing they call her? She's a hoe. Whore. Slut. First insult out their mouth is she's promiscuous. So they know deep in their heart promiscuity see is bad because they call each other promiscuous when they want to insult each other. Yeah. So yeah, you absolutely need that experience to make sure you don't get wrecked and psyoped. But now and just in my current dating life, my life was very, very different, but I'm glad I had that experience now so I can see who, who is lying and who isn't. I can tell. I can just instantly tell if they would lie or not. One thing I'll say about women that's fantastic, one of the best things women are, are one of the things women are best at is they're a fantastic mirror. Women are a reflection. If you have any weakness inside of you, or if you have any downfalls as a person, a woman's gonna show you who they are. If you're too emotional, if you're too easy to get angry, she'll teach you that. She'll teach you that you can get angry too fast. Piss her off. If your dick's small, she'll tell you. <laughs> she'll, she'll tell you exactly what is wrong with you when she is mad. She'll sit there and say, you got a short leg and your haircut shit. <laughs> get a new haircut. I hate your ugly ass. They'll tell you exactly what is wrong with you. I'll give you an example. Even when I first started getting rich, I, was, I never worried about gold diggers because I can't be gold dug. But I was always a bit like weird about if a woman wants something expensive that I was always a bit like, not because I'm tight, but just like, oh, we haven't been together that long. Why does she want such an expensive bag? Da, da, da. And over time I learned, they don't want the expensive bag because it's an expensive bag. It's because my life is now so expensive and so grand when I'm doing hyper expensive things, if I buy a $5 million car, I look like a dummy if I won't buy a $500 bag. I look, I look frugal and frugality is a form of fear and it looks fearful. I could say no to a $500 bag when I had no money to the exact same girl, but when you have a certain amount of money, it's not that they're gold digging you, it's just that to you it's nothing and there's a degree of gesture to it. And I also learned over time that, you know the best way to get no, new beautiful women is for them to see your ex and how well she was treated. They love that shit. They love it. When they see all your ex, because women will do that. Women stalk me. When I had Instagram, they'd stalk me and they'd see my, the lifestyle my girl lived. And as soon as I was single, they were like, hey, Woo! they want to turn. So I was like, you know, I actually get a larger ROI. Just be Mr. Nice. Cool. It's also helped me in my current situation. I've never been mean to anybody. Please call him. No, he was nice to me. Bye. Because I actually truly believe, and this is never going to be, make the misogynistic supercut of the BBC, I actually truly believe that women in their hearts, unless they're completely corrupted by society, women just want to love and be loved and feel safe. That's what they want. They want a man that they can look at and they truly know he makes the decisions and I trust him to make the decisions and I love him for that and I respect him for that. That's what they truly want. When a woman starts turning on you, it's usually because she doesn't trust you for some reason. She doesn't trust your judgment. And that's not always cheating, it can be other things. Doesn't trust your judgment as a whole, right? If she starts to doubt your judgment, how can she truly love you? You're the protector, you're the provider. So if a woman's gone cold on you, you have to sit there and go, okay, she doesn't trust my Great judgment. Feedback. She doesn't trust my judgment. Yep. What have I done that yep. made her doubt me?